One, pull it back. Two, pull it back. Up and round and off. And then push. Points fighting uh, has become a lot more prevalent in full contact fighting. A lot of the techniques that you see in points fighting is moving towards the sort of full contact platform. So you need to be practicing this stuff to stay one step ahead. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna throw a round kick off your front leg. This is not a big sort of bam and then kick through. This is just a flick off the leg, keeping your balance, okay? As Soon as you land that kick on using the toes, pull back. Then you're gonna shunt your side kick, okay? Really effective, again, if you can do both of these, your opponent's gonna be worried. So I go from here, okay, flick, hold. Then kick him back, cross step off. Go again. There we go. One more the other side. So notice once I've kicked, I'm pulling my knee back. I'm trying to get my foot in line with my knee, okay? Yeah, one more. There we go. Cool, so Instagram, how are we doing? So today I have got three different variations of the jab cross for you. That's all we're focusing on today is gaining more distance with everyone. So let's not mess about jumping dance now. I apologize in advance. Didn't wear hand wraps yesterday on the bag. Hurt my finger, so if I have a finger sticking out, don't judge me. So first thing we're gonna do is your basic jab cross, perfect footwork. I jab, I step the front foot forward, one. Back foot slides, two. That is our first variation, nice and simple. I go from here. Okay, both sides. That's your nice basis one is what if they move back quickly? So let's say that they step back, okay? They go from here and they take a step. What we're gonna do is step up and then step back down. So from here, I'm gonna jab, step the front foot one. I'm gonna step my back foot up, keep my hand out. I'm gonna step again, cross for two. And again from here, one, step up and two. So if I do that a bit faster, we go from here. Do the same the other side from here. So I'm watching them. And it's important when you use this variation that you don't level change. So you're not doing this. Okay, we're staying nice and low. So first one, yeah, they just move back. So we go one, two. Second one, they step back, so we step in. The third one, we use a cross step. So what I do, I jab and I step over. My foot faces to the outside. Then I step again cross and slide the foot. So from here, yeah, one, two, one, two. My head comes off center line to stay safe. From here, I'm watching them. Again, practice them both. We do it in south paw, so from here, watch your opponent. What we're gonna work on now, distance control. So from here, I'm on this line. With the first one, I wanna gain about half a meter. So I go from here. One, two, and again, one, two. With the second one, I wanna be gaining a full meter, so I go from here, step, one, two, and again, one, two, and then with the third one, I wanna be going past the meter, about a meter and a half, so I go from here, one, two, and again, one, two. So, that's three different ways you can throw the jab cross, depending on how quickly your opponent moves back, his hip slides. <laughs> Don't forget what we've just done, it's that step up, okay? Because I see a lot of people like, what the f do, yeah? From there, it's just step, slap and down, yeah? Here, step, slap and down, okay? When you do it a bit faster, you add a couple of like, back down, yeah, other side. Yeah, sweeping across the floor. It goes here, it goes, yeah, like you're kicking some away into Morgan's face, yeah? And that's where your momentum comes from. Watch this hip, okay? This hip slides this way, and then it pushes in, okay? I'm there, yeah, I'm watching him. Back down, I come back in, this hip goes here. Back down, yeah, other side. Nice and relaxed movements, this hip slides. Back down, this hip slides. Back down, does that make more sense? Okay, so I'm just adjusting my hip position each time. Hips are facing this way, into there, this way and then they're pushing all the way over there and we just keep alternating out. Positioning please guys, okay? Either under the knee or on top with the IT band is one. When you're doing this, pull the knee back first. One, there, yeah? Bam. One, pull it back. Two, pull it back. Up and round 
and off. If you can, while the hands are there, okay, come in, touch, step off, and back. If you can't do a hook kick to the head, start learning to, okay? Just lean. The further you lean, yeah, if you can't stand here upright and do that, lean. Okay, it's not perfect, but it'll get you used to getting your foot up there. So we're gonna do um, like a skip forward teep without putting our leg down. So I want us to be nice and far away like this. I'm gonna pick my knee up and I need to skip up into Chris and then push him away. So the emphasis here is not pushing your, um, putting your knee down. So I'm coming up and then watch the position of my foot and my knee. Okay, so it's coming up and then as I push, my hip pushes down and then I push him down. So he goes as far as wherever he lands to so stay there for me. And then from here, I come up again, and then I push him back again. He stays where he is, up, and then push him again, okay? When you get to this side, swap round, but also swap stance, okay? So we can start close, that's fine. Again, my foot point is between a side kick and a front kick, and my hip pushes as I land. I come up, and then push, back down, up, and then push, okay? It's, it's a really nasty stab in motion. When I land and I push Chris, I'm pushing with which part of my body? Hips, yeah? Really emphasize that, please, because that's what's going to give you that leverage. Yeah, he's there. Boom, push, okay? Uh, if you can, after you've done that, come back again for me. Yeah, up, push, knee back, re-chamber, and then relax. Don't land forward. If you land forward, your partner has permission to kick you in the leg wherever you land as hard as they so choose. 